Fishing News is brought to you by Okuma. Hi there, Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video fishing forecast for the Christmas holiday weekend. Well, first up this week, uh, you know, it's that time of year when anglers do their best to extend their open water fishing season, uh, hitting a serve, heading out on the uh, head boats, or they begin moving on to ice fishing season, both of which, as you'll hear in a moment, are well underway. Uh, but, you know, for me, one of the biggest cold weather fishing questions is not so much in where to go, but in how to keep my hands warm. Well, this week I consulted with a handful of fishermen family members for their input. And if you uh, haven't already checked it out, the story that I posted at fisherman.com, give it a look as we approach this fishy weekend ahead and make sure that you are as prepared as possible to take full advantage of what is looking to be a great fishing weekend. All right, uh, let's see. Gonna start off as always in Connecticut where holdover striped bass remains a best bet with pretty much every tidal river producing fish right now. I haven't really heard of anything over about maybe 25 pounds or so since uh, last week's video. There's plenty of fish from 12 to 30 to 34 inches being landed. Now, uh, nighttime remains the right time for the larger fish as always with uh, primarily jigs rigged with soft plastics like uh, Plum Island swim baits, uh, Joe Bag Bucktails, Housatonic Lure Company, and the likes producing some solid fish. <clears throat> and then over in Rhode Island, Big news for cod fishing off Block Island this week is in the size of the fish being caught out there. While there are no uh, old time 40 or 50 pounders being reported, a slug of fish into the 30 plus pound bracket were caught by several boats this week, including uh, the Francis Fleet and the Blackhawk. They both got fish into that class on recent trips. And, I've been hearing some pretty big schools of sea herring around the island. I even got word from a guy over on Block Island that said it's possible right now to jig up a pile of sea herring off the docks in Old Harbor. So really, as long as this bait source uh, remains in place, the cod fishing should stay hot. Just got to keep in mind that bycatch of black sea bass and porgies end as of the new year. Again, just goes through, through December 31st, and then that bycatch, unfortunately, has got to be tossed back. And then uh, up north, Massachusetts, uh, and up past there into New Hampshire, anglers are already hitting the ice in some spots. And while there is by no means widespread safe ice to be found just yet, I did see some pond hockey games uh, taking place this past weekend while I traveled up to western Massachusetts to visit family. And Pete Santini from Fishing Fanatics out in Everett sent me some pictures of a bunch of trout caught by Dave Na uh, Nava and his buddies on a trip up to New Hampshire over the weekend said that they got a load of rainbows, browns, brookies, and yellow perch, primarily using jigs tipped with mealworms or night crawlers. But if there isn't any hard water to be found in your area, don't fret, as trout fishing is still an excellent option right now, as shown by Steve Schott. He sent me a picture of a big fat brown trout that he caught and released this week while fishing at Walden Pond in Concord. Congrats on the awesome catch. All right, well, there you have it. I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you happy holidays and tight lines if you head out onto the water this weekend.